everybody, this is The Daily Denny. I'm Denny and I'm switching things up a little bit today because if you're a fan of psychic mediums and carpool karaoke, then you're gonna be obsessed with Lifetime's new series, Seatbelt Psychic. The show features renowned medium Thomas John, who surprises unsuspecting passengers with messages from their deceased loved ones. Now I know, I know, I know, some of you are probably giving me the eye roll emoji right now, but I had a chance to take a spin with Thomas himself and let me tell you, it was in a word, emotional. So I gotta say, this is a first for me. <laughs> We're actually having an interview in my car. Right, yeah, this is a little, <laughs> little new for me too. I believe that. Well, this you're, you're in the driver's seat because obviously I want this to tie into your show. So just, what's the premise of Seatbelt Psychic? So it is a show where people think they're getting into an actual ride chair, but I'm their driver and I am a psychic medium. Mm -hmm. And so they have the opportunity if they want to get a message or a reading about their future. Her dad. Did he miss your wedding? Yes. Okay. So he was like, there was a lot of drama with that wedding. <laughs> when you got in the car, I felt your grandmother with you. Have you met uh, uh, your fair share of skeptics mm -hmm. who actually opted out? Yeah. Um, yeah, or people just, they, they, they are skeptical and they're like, I don't really want to do that. Well, what are you feeling? Well, maybe, you know, people have, it's interesting, but uh, people definitely have some pretty strong reactions to it. She's really happy that you're in love. There's no way you can know that. I am a natural medium, right. so I was actually born this way. Mm -hmm. When I was four years old, I saw my deceased grandfather wow. and he gave me messages. And since then I have developed it and stuff. It's just such a part of my world that I kind of jokingly say that like, if I ever woke up one day and I didn't see dead people, I'd probably yeah. like freak out. <laughs> so I don't, yeah. Quite the opposite feeling for me. Like right. quite the opposite feeling. If I one day I woke up and I saw a spirit, I would not know what to do. Yeah. I'd probably call you. <laughs> well, do you mind me asking, do you see or feel anything now? Um, sure, yeah, we can do, we can see what comes through and, and um, do, you, do you feel open to having a reading and stuff? I do actually, okay, yeah. Okay, good. I, I, I feel like you're, you're going, the next year for you I'm sensing is going to be really, really significant for you. Um, <clears throat> and there's going to be a lot of, I see you, the, the current opportunities that you have, it's like that staying how, how it is, but I see things being added to things. Mm. Um, the other thing I want to tell you, like, it feels like expansion. Like I'm getting, there's a lot of expansion around you. The other thing I want to tell you is, um, I don't know if it's Ellen or Helen, but I kept hearing that name. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm actually hearing it more than once. So I don't know if you, do you do you have a Helen or Ellen around you, Helen? Yes, my, oh. my grandmother. <laughs> your grandmother, okay. Mm -hmm. um, your, your living grandmother? Yes. Okay. Um, but is, I feel that like I'm getting it like more than once. So is there more than one? Uh, yeah, my, my grandfather's mother, Helen. Okay. So yeah. your grandfather's mother is, Hel is Helen too. Yes. And is she passed? She's passed. Okay. So, so it's like your so great, great grandmother. grandmother. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm feeling a woman coming through that's in spirit named Helen. Um, I really was feeling that. I, I did get a sense though that you did know her, right? You got to meet her a little bit. I got bit. to meet her once when yeah. I was very young. Yeah. Um, and I feel like um, um, it's interesting. She she she's bringing up to me. Um, and who's the D connected to her? The D connected to her, my grandfather Denny. Okay, so that's her son. Her son, right? Yeah. But I want to tell you that this this Helen woman. Um, even though you didn't really know her a lot in the physical world, um, I do feel like she's one of the people that watches over you. Um, and, um, you know, you don't have to do it like tomorrow, but I, I did feel like she was talking about that, you know, in life, like she's showing me all her different, you know, all the different wings of the family. And it's like, everybody's kind of on a different path. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she's just telling me where you're going. You're going into this really positive place. Like, you know, you're going to be doing really important things. And, it, and in a way, it's very different from your family. I feel like she's just telling me, like, mm -hmm. don't forget your roots. Don't forget where you come from. Yeah. Even if you don't see everybody all the time, yeah. it's like I feel like she, she doesn't, you know, it's, it's important that you, um, you know, connect, connect a little bit. She, li so like these grandparents that she's talking about, her son, like he's still alive, yes. right? Okay, yeah. Because yes. um, I feel like she's making me feel like there's a there's a close connection there. You guys, Who, me and my yeah, grandparents? Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. They raised me. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like she's talking about like it almost felt like more than a normal grandparent. Oh you yeah, know? yeah. They became my legal guardians. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you know, I feel like she 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 sees that and stuff. The other thing I wanted to talk about is, um, yeah, it's like something like you're yeah you're gonna have more of your. Um, 
more of your own, own opportunities and stuff. I, I feel that. Um, and I want to take, there's another thing. Hold on. E, um, do you have an uh, Eileen? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, your grandmother's talking about Eileen. Just make sure that you're staying in touch with her. It feels important. Um, and um, I want to say I'm just, I don't want to really go too much into this, but I feel like I'm getting a lot of happiness around you in your personal life. So I feel like you're either with someone that you love a lot or that's going to be happening for you really soon. But it kind of feels like it's like right around you now. But it, it's interesting because your grandmother's kind of like, she's a little bit, you're really, it's your great grandmother, but she's kind of like, she doesn't want me to go a lot into it right now, but she's <laughs> telling me that there's a lot of happiness around this. So, she, so I feel like she's really happy for you. Okay. Yeah. yeah but <laughs> I'm laughing because it's complicated. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> Do you mind me asking you a question? Sure. Go ahead. It, is anything coming through from a woman, my mother, maybe? Yes. Um, hold on. But I don't feel... She, so she didn't die recently. No. Yeah. No. Why am I saying like S-A-N-D? Because her maiden name Sandoval. Okay. okay. Um, I do feel that she's here. Just like... It's, it's weird. Sometimes... I, I don't know why it works this way, but sometimes you have to ask... Like, it, it's like by you, I don't know, it's like you yeah, brought her here now. Mom, yeah. um, you actually have been, you had a, um, she had a difficult life, she's telling me. She had a lot of challenges in life. And she really wishes that things were kind of a little bit different with you guys. Um, <clears throat> but it doesn't mean, I see white roses with her. So whenever I see that, it means she comes in a lot of, like the, the, she's in a state of peace. She wants you to know that she she really is in a state of peace over there. I actually feel like this woman was kind of coming through a little bit when I started to talk about Eileen. Mm -hmm. So does she, does she know Eileen at all? That's her daughter. That's our, oh okay, our, our mother. Oh, that's her. So Eileen is your is your sister. Yeah. And this woman, that's her daughter. Correct. Yeah. Um, she just one of the things that. <clears throat> your mom wants you to know is she's um, she's really in a peaceful place on the other side. I feel like she's in a lot. She keeps showing me the like, I don't know, it feels very quick when she passed or like it's like very abrupt. She's showing me like there's a, it feels very abrupt. And mm -hmm. I don't know if she always shared this with you, but your mom is telling me that she carried with her in life sadness a little bit. She did. She had some sadness and it's like she wants you to know over there she doesn't really have that anymore. It's like she's kind of free from that. But it's like it's weird. She doesn't really want to talk about that. She's like, oh, I don't want to talk about that. But I get that from her that she was like she had sadness. She mm -hmm. carried some sadness with her. But so proud of you, I feel. And a lot of times they do, you know, this, all this, she feels like, oh, my God, you know, she's she's very she's really, really very I feel very happy about. It. Hold on. You understand about the quick passing, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, she, um, she died in a car accident. Okay, yeah, because it feels very, just very... I, I feel like she really wants me to emphasize that. So I feel like that's maybe her way of saying, like, I left my body quickly. I wasn't suffering. I wasn't in pain. Um, I, I, I do feel that. But she, yeah, she, she's... I feel like she's connected to you a lot, so... Yeah, we were pretty close. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And look for butterflies because she's saying that that's a sign that she'll actually use to connect with you. <laughs> really? So it might not be an all the time thing, but she is she is bringing that up. Wow, mm -hmm. that's amazing. I was pretty shook after this, I'm not gonna lie. And now you guys know a whole lot more about me, but that actually makes me happy. Uh, you guys can see Thomas John in action for yourself when Seatbelt Psychic premieres July 11th on Lifetime. All right, I need a drink after that one. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.